the matter was heard. It was heard for more than well, more than a, one hour, 15, 20 minutes. And mera uh, ye tha. I projected to the court. I showed them documents. There are three inspection reports of the Archaeological Survey of India, which categorically says that there is gross violation and there is no sanction accorded by the competent authority. So they are very Archaeological Survey of India, who is supposed to be the competent authority, have not given any permission. The permission which has been given has been given obtained from the National Monuments Authority, which is not the correct person to accord sanction. Kyunki, because the Kyunki this this area of illegal excavation and construction is being is be, taking place around 100 meters of the Jagannath Temple, which is the prohibited area. So man ke chaliega, even if there was a sa sanction from the competent authority, but according to section 24 of the Amasar Act, that is the Ancient Monument and Archaeological Sites and Remains Act of 1958, it categorically prohibits any kind of construction, renovation, repair within the 100 meters prohibited area. And for any construction in the regulated area, there has to be a sanction from the Director General of the Archaeological Survey of India. So there were three inspection reports, 30th April 2021, 28th 5 2021 and uh, 1st May 2022, jaha joint inspection hua tha, our joint inspection may state the temple authorities, OBCC, the Odisha Bridge Construction Company, and the Archaeological Survey ka officers, sab gaye te, inspection report mein saaf likha gaya hai ki no sanction accorded. And there is 15 to 20 feet of ex, um, uh, strat excavation of the stratified thing, deposits, uh, which has resulted in...